From a small boat in French Polynesia, Pamela Carzon spotted the first three of the strange trio of animals she was told to look out for. A bottlenose dolphin mother, her seven-month-old calf, and another smaller and different-looking creature, they had to be a melon-headed whale. Carzon, a colleague with the Marine Mammal Study Group of French Polynesia, and him were out for the NGO annual photo ID survey very much hoping to find animals that a former collaborator had seen while diving in the region their previous November. The sea was very calm and there were many dolphins around. Carzon, also a PhD student at the Center for Island Research and Environmental Observatory, Criab in French Polynesia, Ecole Pratique des Hots Eduves recalls in an email to the scientist. It took us maybe two minutes to spot them. The dark calf was easy to spot among the bottlenose dolphin. The mother dubbed ID number TP25 by the researchers was known to tolerate divers and boats. One day she approached the inflatable with both calves. Carzon grabbed her underwater camera and slipped into the water. I was able to get good underwater footage and to sex both calves, she said. ID number TP25, natural calf was a female. The second calf was male. I also noticed that both were gently pushing each other in order to remain under the adult female's abdomen and that so-called infant position. Continued observation over the following months revealed that the dolphin mom was nursing the foreign calf, whose species ID remains to be confirmed with genetic testing and otherwise treated them as one of her own. Carzon had been studying the bottlenose dolphin community, inhabiting the northern part of Rangura Atoll for a decade, and knew that the cetaceans had a history of bringing young animals of other species into their group. In 1996, Researchers observed a newborn spinner dolphins swimming in the slipstream of an adult male bottlenose, a behavior known as echelon swimming and a common interaction between mothers and calves. Scientists also regularly spotted a juvenile spinner dolphin over the next two years, often with the particular adult female bottlenose Carzon says, although it's not clear whether it was the same individual they saw as a newborn. Then in November 1998, a newborn melon-headed whales spent a few weeks in the area and was filmed swimming in echelon position with the same female bottlenose that it associated with the young spinner dolphin. More recently, another adult female bottlenose in the same community has twice been seen with young of a different species. In January 2011, she was spotted with the neonate spinner dolphin for a few days. And in February of 2018, she was photographed with a newborn Frazier's dolphin which swam alongside her in echelon position. With such behaviors, apparently relatively common within the social group, ID number TP25 may have picked up a thing or two from her cons, specific companions speculates Carzon. The evidence that bobnose dolphins are capable of imitation is very strong, she says. Socially transmitted ideas or practices from cultural models may have influenced ID number TP25 behavior. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. As is the case with most animal adoptions in the wild, how the mother bottlenose came to acquire the melon-headed whale calf is unknown. The calf's natural mother may have died or the bottlenose dolphin group may have kidnapped it. A behavior that was once observed in a dolphin group in the Bay of Gibraltar Carzon notes, Whatever scenario landed the outside calf in the care of dolphin ID number TP25, the adoption was stable lasting more than two years. ID number TP25, natural calf disappeared by early 2016, suggesting it died or weaned early, possibly joining another social group. There is only one other published case of interspecies adoption by animals in the wild. For about 14 months in the early 2000s, researchers documented the integration of an infant marmoset into a group of cappuccino monkeys in woodland savanna of central Brazil, a female monkey that the researchers had thought was pregnant, but who perhaps lost her own baby care for the infant, marmoset carrying it on her back and appearing to nurse it. It was amazing because when she appeared, she was tiny, 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 said Patricia. Is there a primate ethologist at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil who observed the adoption? She was really a newborn, and she survived. Izar says she was particularly astonished because she knew that some groups of capuchin monkeys eat young marmoset. Care for the young animal was eventually assumed by another female capuchino, and all group members appeared to tolerate the marmoset's presence. 
As for why interspecies adoptions do rarely occur wildlife conservation, Professor Robert Young of the University of South Africa. The UK suggests that animals may not recognize that they're caring for the young of another species. In the case of the dolphins, the presumed melon-headed whale is similar in size to the adoptive mother's own bobblenose dolphin calf, and the dolphins have not evolved a strong ability to differentiate their own young from those of another species. There's good reason to think it's just an identification problem, says Young, who says he has observed a handful of interspecies adoptions among black-fronted TD monkeys in Brazil. The high levels of oxytocin coursing through the mammalian mother's bodies and the abundance of resources are also likely to be relevant factors. Indeed, in the case of the capuchin group that took in a marmoset baby Izar and her colleagues have been providing coconuts to study the animal's use of stones to crack the fruit open, meaning that the monkeys had plenty of food to eat, and so looking after additional young might have been less costly. Interspecies adoptions are also much more common among domestic and captive animals. If you've got a lactating female dog, you can just about get it to rear any other mammal. Documented cases of interspecies adoption among the Wrangler dolphin and the Brazilian monkeys shows that it's not impossible, says Izar. I think that in time, we will have other cases in the wild. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.